The latest on Wendy Williams. Her care team has now revealed that she's been diagnosed with aphasia and dementia. The news comes just days before the release of a new documentary about her struggles. Eva Pilgrim here with the story. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. There have been so many questions over the past few years about Wendy Williams' condition. This morning, some answers. Let me tell you something. I don't know who I've become, but I like her. This morning, the devastating health update for daytime talk show icon, Wendy Williams. Her care team revealing in a statement Thursday that she's been diagnosed with primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia, also known as FTD. Her team saying she is receiving the care she requires to make sure she is protected and that her needs are addressed. When I saw her, she didn't have to say one thing. I knew that every cylinder is not firing the way it should. Aphasia affects a person's ability to communicate how they express and understand language. FTD is the most common form of dementia for people under the age of 60. Frontotemporal dementia is sort of not your average dementia. It affects behavior like decision making, personality, impulse control, and then it also affects communication skills. Alex Finney, Wendy's niece and anchor for ABC affiliate WPLG, speaking exclusively to our Deborah Roberts about the 59 year old possibly having dementia. Does it make sense to you that she has dementia? So what I will say is, is it does make sense that she definitely cognitively has some things that are off. But the aunt that I hear when I'm on the phone with her now, months later, I don't hear that same Wendy. I have no idea where we are. This doesn't look like anything familiar. I think she's losing memory. Have you guys noticed that? These new details about Wendy's health coming amid explosive headlines around the upcoming Lifetime docuseries, Where is Wendy Williams? <laughs> I miss my family. Some people are gonna look at this and say, this is exploitation. She's being exploited. How could they do this? But I will say this, first and foremost, my aunt is the executive producer of this documentary. And when I finally talked with her and I said to her, Aunt Wendy, why are, do you wanna do this? You know, you're, you're, you're clearly, the health piece, all of that has to be addressed. Is now the right time? And she said, now is the perfect time because I wanna take ownership of my story. My real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm divorced. The series taking an intimate look at Wendy's cognitive decline and recent struggles with sobriety. So you think you're perfectly fine having as many drinks as you want? Perfectly. Okay. But I'm just going to put it downstairs to keep it cool. Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Wendy's mental state even being cited in a 2022 Wells Fargo petition to the New York Supreme Court. The judge appointing an outside guardian to manage her finances and her life. And overnight, TMZ reporting that guardian allegedly filed suit against Lifetime's parent company, A&E Networks, under seal just two days before the documentary is released. And while the family doesn't know where she is physically, Finney says she feels comforted being able to speak with her aunt again. I haven't seen her in a really long time, but I finally am talking to her regularly, and our conversations are beautiful. And their goal in sharing her story, raising awareness about these conditions, you know, this is the same type of dementia that Bruce Willis was diagnosed with. So hopefully the two of them talking about this will really bring this to the forefront of a lot of people's minds. Wow, it's tough. Yeah. All right, thank you so much for that, Eva. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.